Hello there and welcome back. I have been planning a video series about the Python module which I started recently using. <coughs> it is called Typer. So Typer is a Python module that allows you to create CLI applications and it has a, an easy to learn syntax and you can pick up the speed pretty quickly and create your own tools. Uh, their goal is to be the fast API of CLIs. So if you are familiar with my YouTube channel, you have you should have already seen a few videos about fast API and how to use fast API. So I, I like fast API because it is also an easy to learn framework and allows you to create web applications with decent documentation. So technically, this video series is going to be about Typer and how you can use it. What I did was to create, or rather I will create a GitHub repository. So every, every line of code that we type is going to be found or you can find it. Let's create a simple hello world example, but first install Typer. All right, Typer is installed. What we need to do is to import Typer, create our main and Typer echo f string welcome to Typer. And if the underscore name is equal to main then typer run main. Now what we can do is to go back to our console and run the hello world. As you can see we are presented with a message and what we can also do is to <coughs> define arguments. So let's give it a string and an int argument and hold on this should be a comma typer dot echo the value of a is a the value of b is b now if we run the application once again, you will see that there is a missing argument. And that missing argument is a, we can run the help function. And uh, <coughs> this help function is going to give us a decent or rather nice error message as to how you can use it. And uh, based on the arguments, it is going to allow you to guess what is missing. So A should be Daniel and B should be 10. And as you can see, we have this done. So uh, what we can also do is to import from the typing module the optional class and define optional arguments. So let's see, C colon optional and what should be this? Let's make it float equals 3.14 and typer echo the value of C is and if we run the help message once again, we should see that there is basically now an option and we can specify or rather run this once again and for that 56 should be added with C. Come on. 
and that's it. So you can pass optionals in this way. And uh, that was all I wanted to show you in this Hello World video. See you in the next